Welcome to Brother Dhamir. In this video, we are going to learn about one lake. And uh, what I have done, I have actually created a, a notebook uh, that uh, I will use uh, here and uh, then show you the contents. Uh, but uh, how to import that first? Uh, so if you are here in uh, Microsoft Fabric, uh, app.fabric.microsoft.com and you have logged in uh, and uh, now you are going to see the home here. Uh, and uh, then uh, you can go to the My Workspace here and then uh, here is the import button. Uh, if you click on import and say notebook and then click again say from this computer. So what it is going to ask you the very first thing to create an uh, import notebook uh, your workspace uh, my workspace need to be upgraded to the free fabric trial capacity. Upgrading uh, requires us to create a free trial capacity for you for you and assign this uh, workspace to it. Okay we can find we are fine with that we can hit okay now. Now we're good to upload uh, our notebook uh, click on upload and uh, then uh, what you're going to do is select the notebook uh, and uh, hit open uh, and here's uh, our well formatted uh, notebook uh, that I have uh, is available then uh, that has definitions and everything about the one uh, lake uh, we are going to take a look into that. Okay here's our notebook and I'm just going to close this part uh, we have explored word part here where we can explore all different uh, items from here and everything we can uh, talk about this later but now this is my notebook. Uh, so understanding one lake a uh, unified data lake for all workloads in Microsoft Fabric. Um, so that's what it is and what is the one lake one lake is a microsoft fabrics unified enterprise grade data lake that acts as a single storage layer for all workloads in fabric including a lake house warehouse data science real-time analytics and power bi it is built on top of the azure data lake storage gen 2 adls gen 2 but managed as a part of the fabric SaaS experience so that's the definition of it. So everything is going to be going to the one lake uh, and that's where you will be saving all the files, structures and delta files and whatnot. Uh, and uh, this uh, is built on top of the Azure Data Lake uh, Gen 2. So what are the key benefits uh, of uh, one lake? Uh, one copy of data store once uh, access uh, across all workloads uh, such as uh, you will be using SQL, you will be using Spark notebooks, uh, you will be using Power BI data flows. Uh, you can access uh, those files uh, maybe unstructured or uh, delta tables uh, and uh, then uh, you will be using across these different uh, workloads. Uh. Now centralized uh, governance uh, integrated with Microsoft Purview and uh, Entra ID. Then uh, you have direct lake uh, per performance. Uh, Power BI can uh, query delta tables uh, directly without importing or refreshing. Uh. So that's a huge uh, benefit for the Power BI. It doesn't have to uh, read those uh, tables, load and refresh every time uh, we will uh, create the reports. Uh. So here uh, Power BI can use the direct lake uh, and uh, can read uh, the delta table directly from the one lake. Uh. Now global uh, namespace, uh, all data is accessible under one lake colon dash dash and then you have a workspace name here and then you have item name here so you can access by using this name in pattern. Delta format first built in support for delta lake format transitional and fast. So uh, we will talk about what are the delta tables or what is the delta format and how exactly the log files and everything is created. So I will show you all those details in the later videos. But uh, this uh, delta format first that means built in support for delta lake format uh, so it can support our transactional and uh, it is fast. Uh, now shortcuts uh, reference external data sources uh, such as ADLS, uh, AWS S3 bucket or GCS buckets uh, and all those kind of things. Uh, as if they are in one lake. So you don't have to bring the data from those different external sources to the one lake. You can create the shortcuts and then you can query them as well or you know read the data from there. So here is my one lake architecture <laughs> just I put this together. So you have a one lake storage that has a delta table that has shortcuts that has raw files and then you have a lake house that can access those then you have warehouse those can access that then you have mls that can access that and on top of you have power bi direct lake that can also read those delta tables from the let's say in the lake house you have those delta tables and it can directly read them and it this is very helpful because everything you have in one storage right here and then you can your different workloads can use it
Now let's uh, discuss a real world scenario. Your company has a sales uh, lake house and a separate Power BI report. Instead of duplicating the data, Power BI user uh, can use direct lake to read directly from the delta table stored in one lake, reducing cost and increasing freshness. So they don't have to refresh the data every time in Power BI. They can directly read the data from one lake which is saved in the delta tables. Now your uh, data engineers upload file to the uh, files raw sales. Um, so first of all, uh, your engineers will be loading the data to the uh, this uh, folder that's under uh, let's say files uh, in the lake house. Uh, a notebook uh, transform it uh, and uh, uh, loads into the delta table under this uh, tables. Uh, so lake house has tables uh, and those are delta tables. Uh, and uh, then uh, let's say sales fact is created uh, from this uh, raw files. Uh, now Power BI reads directly with the no refresh required. So once uh, this uh, delta table is ready in the uh, lake house uh, under the tables, uh, then uh, what you can do, your Power BI can directly read this uh, uh, delta table and uh, no freshness is required in the Power BI side. Also you can query delta tables in one lake using a Spark SQL. So here is a Spark SQL you can write and directly read that. Select asterisk from sales factor and where region is equal to EMEA and then it could this query will return you all the records from this sales factor delta table where region is equal to EMEA. Now also if you notice that this is your notebook and notebook supports different languages. You have a PySpark, you have Scala, you have Spark SQL, you have R language and HTML. So you choose whatever you want to choose here to run this query. Let's take a look on the summary now. One Lake is the backbone of Microsoft Fabric, providing unified, secure, and high performance storage for all of your analytics workloads. It eliminates data silos and enables you to build the lake-centric architectures using open standards like Delta Lake. So I thank you very much for watching this video. We are going to go in the next video and perform some more real-time demos. See you guys in the next video.